From the spectacular Trump Castle in world-famous Atlantic City, it's time to play television's non-stop game of knowledge, Trump Card. And now, here's the star of Trump, Jimmy Sapolo. everyone, where the tournament trump card can turn knowledge into cash, over $15,000. Our three contestants are eager here to match wet soul. Let's play trump card. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our trump card hostess, Debbie Massey. Hi, Debbie. Alfie, today's players, contestant number one from Washington, D.C. He's a student at Georgetown University, Joe Kenyon. Welcome, Joe. Uh, how you doing? Joe studies uh, the por Portuguese language and also political science. How did you decide on studying Portuguese? Well, I speak a few languages before that. I, I learned how to speak Spanish, and I decided I wanted to learn another language. Spanish? What else? What other Portuguese words? and Italian. That's pretty darn good, Joe. All right, good luck in the program to you and in school. And Bob Pivarnik. Right. Okay, from Bridgeport, Connecticut, an actor and a comic book dealer. Do you have one particular comic book that's very special to you? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, I have one that was published the month I was conceived. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, not the month you were born, the month no, you were conceived. No, the month I was conceived. Ah, and uh, you, that, that's very near and dear very to Very near and dear to my heart. I can see why. All right, Bob, good luck to you in the program. And David Lang from Pittman, New Jersey, a teacher and retired as a school principal, went back to the, school, to the classroom. Why, Bob, David? Well, because I missed the interaction with the students, yes. What age group are they? Um, uh, 11th and 12th graders. 11th and 12th grade. All right, good luck to you on the program. I'm sure they're out there watching for you. Thank you. All right, everybody, here's how we play the game. Each of the contestants have their own trump card, and the object of the game is to cover all 15 numbers on their card by answering questions correctly. The first player to do so can win over $5,000, plus the chance to win the $10,000 trump card bonus. And don't forget, our studio audience will be playing along on their own trump cards. Every time a contestant answers a question correctly, our audience members will cover the corresponding number on their card. So good luck to the contestants and to the audience members as well. Now, players, you can win round number one and $750 in cash by being the first to cover all four corners on your card. And you'll do so by answering questions in the following categories. And they are famous trials, mothers, art of the deal, that is our famous deal category, and doctored films, films with the word doctor in the title. Each category contains four questions, and a correct answer will cover a corner on your card. If you give me an incorrect answer, you will be frozen out of the next question. And, Bob, you want the draw backstage? Please start for me. All right, Jimmy, let's start with mothers. Legend has it that she was Emperor Charlemagne's mother. Name this character famous for her nursery rhymes. Joe. Mother Goose. That's correct, and you're on the board. Doctored Films. In this 1967 film, Rex Harrison had the uncanny ability to talk to the animals. Name the film. Joe? Dr. Doolittle. That's correct. Good start for you. Mother. This labor leader, arrested for union activities at age 82, has a counterculture magazine named in her honor. Name that mother. Joe? Mother Jones. Mother Jones is correct. A run to the board so far for you, Joe. Dr. Phil. In this 1977 horror film, Burt Lancaster was a demented island doc who created creatures that were half man and half beast. Name the doctor, Bob. Dr. Moreau. That's right, the name of the film was The Island of Dr. Moreau. Please Let's choose for it. Let's go back to Mother's, please. This organization was founded in 1980 by Candy Leitner after her daughter was killed in a traffic accident. Name this group, Bob. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. That's true, MAD, M-A-D-D. -D. We cover 20 on your card. Uh, Mothers Again, please. Last question in this category. The lining of some mollusk shells used to make buttons, knife handles, and beads is called what? Bob? Mother of Pearl. Yeah, the tie now between Joe and Bob. Um, Dr. Films, please. In the film Dr. Zhivago, who played Dr. Zhivago? Joe for the win. Omar Sharif. Congratulations, Joe. Well done. Well played first round. Joe, that's all four corners. That's 750 bucks. That'll help with the tuition, I'm sure, at Georgetown. Bob and David, worry not, because we're going to come back and double the prize money for $1,500 in round number two. Jimmy and round two. 
too. All right, thanks, Debbie. Players here in round number two, one of you will win $1,500 in cash if you can become the first to cover the five numbers across your center line. And right now, Debbie's giving each of our players a special trump card. Beginning with this round, players, you can use this card to block the progress of one of your opponents. You can only play your card after you give me a correct answer. You only have one card. We've got two rounds to go, so please play it wisely. And players, should you win the game and go on to our bonus round and still have your trump card, then you'll receive an extra advantage. Now, here are the categories for round number two, and they are Broadway musicals, from Z to A, words that begin with Z and end with A, for the birds, that's our category all about birds, and in other words, we'll paraphrase a well-known title or phrase you give us its more familiar form. Each category contains five questions, and Joe, since you won the first round, please begin for it. I'd like for the birds, Jimmy. Chimneys are popular nesting places for this kind of bird, which legend claims delivers newborn babies. Name it, Joe. Stork. Stork is correct. We'll cover six on your card. Continue with for the birds. These birds might not be as crazy as their name suggests since they lay their eggs in the nests of other species. Name the bird. Bob? Loons? I'm sorry, cuckoo bird. The correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. We move on to, in other words. What James Bond film could be retitled, A Person is Strictly Limited to Reincarnation One Time? Joe? You Only Live Twice. That's correct. We cover seven on your card. Bob, you're back in. For the birds. In the northern and western states, this game bird is called a bobwhite and is spotted in pear trees around Christmas time. Name it, Bob. Partridge. That's right, a partridge in a pear tree. We covered 21 on your card. May I have another words, Jimmy? What's the more common version of this complaint? Garçon, the, the dipterons in my consomme. <laughs> Joe. Waiter, there's a fly in my soup. Yeah, that's correct. It's much easier to say, waiter, there's a fly in my soup than a dipteron and a garçon, too. Please choose for us. From Z to A, first time in the category. This Greek was played in the movies by Anthony Quinn. Name him, David. Zorba. First time on the board for you. Well done, yes. Um, from Z to A, please. Benazir Bhutto became the first woman leader of a Muslim nation after this Pakistan president died in a plane explosion. Name him. Mohammed Zia, the correct answer. Zia. For the birds is our category. This nocturnal bird's acute hearing comes from its rounded head, which acts as a radar dish. Name this hooter. David? Owl. Owl is correct. Yeah, cover 37 on your card. Uh, let's try from C to A, please. German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche proclaimed God is dead in his work entitled The Spake. Who? Bob. Zarathustra? Zarathustra is correct. Cover 22 Ooh. on your card. Uh, in other words, please. What cautionary saying might be rephrased, panhandlers mustn't seem too picky? Bob. Beggars can't be choosers. That's correct. The tie-out between Joe and Bob. Uh, in other words, please. If a person gets some information directly from an equine's vocal apparatus, how has he gotten it? Bob. Horse's mouth. That's right. Cover 24. Got to be more specific Straight for Straight from the horse's mouth. They like it. Okay, we cover 24 on your card, and you take the lead in this round. Uh, in other words, please. Last question in this category. What quote from Romeo and Juliet could have read, leaving can be quite nice misery? Joe. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Correct. We cover number nine, the tie now between Joe and Bob. For, uh, for the birds, please, Jimmy. Last question in this category. As state birds go, it's the most popular, representing seven states. Name this red bird with a clerical name. David. Cardinal. Cardinal's correct, yes. Um, from Z to A, please. What popular summer flower is native to Mexico and the southwestern United States? Joe for the win. Zinnia. Congratulations, Joe. That's well done. I've got some money to hand out. That was well played. Everybody got on the board. You were close, David. Bob, you were very close. But Joe, you took the cash again. I would imagine there's some tuition that needs to be taken care of at some point down the line. Certainly, yeah. A little bit. $2,250 would help. Definitely. Then you might as well take it for it. All right, we're going to come back in just a moment. We'll double the prize money again. This time, $3,000 at stake. The trunk park continues right after this. Jimmy All right, Joe Kenyon now has $2,250 for the SM Stiff competition. Bob and David doing quite well. I'm sure some money might come your way as we progress through this game. David, how long have you been in a classroom all through these years? 
Uh, 31 years in education. What's the biggest change between the students of 31 years ago as opposed to today? I see the pendulum swinging back. Uh, children today uh, are much like they were uh, 31 years ago. They seem more serious, more intent, and more concerned about their futures. So it's a good sign. I think so. All right, David, best of luck to you and to Thank Bob you. and to Joe. Enjoy yourself in the program. Here's how we do it. This is crunch time. This is a flash round, we call it. There are no categories. The first player to complete their card will win $3,000 and get a shot at our trump card bonus worth an additional $10,000. Let's recap the scores right now. Joe, you need six correct answers for the money. Bob, you're eight answers away. And David, 12 answers, and I will give you $3,000. A reminder, you still have your trump cards in front of you. Use them to block the progress of an opponent after you give me a correct answer. All right, everybody, best of luck. Hands on buzzers. And here's your first question. After gaining fame as a game show contestant in 1957, she went on to become a talk show host named The Psychologist. Bob? Dr. Joyce Brothers. That is correct. See, you never know what's going to happen on these games. I have a present for my friend Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, trump card. you got to give me a correct answer in order to remove it. The Liberty Bell got its famous crack in 1835 while being rung during the funeral of what great Chief Justice? Joe. Marshall. Yes, John Marshall, the correct answer. And we removed the trump card from the point. Was that a guess? Or you, it was just somewhere in the back of your mind, right? It just came to me. Hey, it, it still counts. What mosquito-related disease is also called marsh fever? David. Malaria. Malaria is correct. Cover number 31 on your card. I would like to uh, give my trump card to Joe also. Please. All right, Joe. The problem with being ahead in this game is you got to fend off all the trump cards. Need another correct answer to remove it. This controversial comedian's 1965 autobiography was titled How to Talk Dirty and Influence People. Name him. David, you beat it. Lenny Bruce. Yes, that is correct. Cover number 32 on your card. You're 10 inches away. In Greek mythology, Terpsichore is the muse of what fine art? Joe. The dance. The dance is correct. We removed the trump card from your podium. You're six inches away. In what South American country was General Augusto Pinochet voted out of office? Joe. Chile. Chile is correct. Five inches for you. A member of the Flounder family, this fish gets its name from the word holy. Name it. Joe. Halibut. Halibut is correct. Four inches away for you. Not only is he an M.D., but also a director and writer as well. Name this author of the Andromeda Strain. Bob. Crichton. Yes, Michael Crichton, the correct answer. Cover number 18. You need six answers for 3,000 bucks. Fourth in career home runs, this Hall of Famer became the first black to manage a Major League Baseball team. Name him. David. Jackie Robin. Or, uh, Frank Robinson. Yes, we give it to you. Frank Robinson, the correct answer. You almost said the wrong one. We covered 33 on your card. In England, this October celebration is sometimes called Nutcrack Night or Snap Apple Night. Name it. Joe? Guy Fox Day? Sorry, Halloween. Halloween, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. This cold circle is actually an imaginary line drawn along approximately 66 and a half degrees north latitude. Name it. Bob? The Arctic Circle. That is correct. Cover number 19. You're five inches away. Joe, you're back in. In the 1942 cartoon feature Bambi, what was the rabbit's name? Joe. Thumper. Thumper is correct. You need three. In the Bible, King Nebuchadnezzar, the second, the ruler of what land? Joe. Babylon. Babylon is right. You need two answers for $3,000. Geologically, what four-letter word is the innermost part of the earth? Joe. Core. Core is right. One answer. I'll give you the money. The what mythological group of female warriors? Amazons. Amazons is right. You need four answers for the money. What brand of scotch takes its name from a 19th century clipper ship? David. Uh, Cutty Sark. Cutty Sark is right. Cover 34, you need eight. Country on the Persian Gulf is abbreviated by the letters UAE. Twin. United Arab Emirates. Congratulations, Joe. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> Joe, that is $5,250. It was a good game. Two good contestants. Bob, best of luck to you. David, the best of luck in the classroom. We've got some nice consolation prizes. Joe, join me downstage. I'll show you you can win some more money. I think you've got quite a big fan club in the audience. George Thompson, right here. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to cheer a lot louder because in a moment we're going to find out if he can add another $10,000 to his total when Trump card returns right after this. Hey, Joe, you got to get out of here. And want to be a contestant on Trump card? Give us a call at 609-340-5000. Our dear friend Joe from Georgetown has got uh, several thousand, I think, of his classmates here in the audience because they're really hooping it up. 
You must be missing a class or two today, aren't you? I'm missing two or three. Two or, or three. four. <laughs> or four. That's all right. If you know you've got 5250 bucks, sometimes you've got to work a day to pay for the tuition. Exactly. Yeah, well, you know what? That's the most money you can win on the show in one day. To this point, 5250 If you get to 10000 it'll be 15250 And you know what's going to happen? At the end of the year, we're going to invite our top 21 money winners back. So there's the potential, if you win this, that you could be in that group and come back and attempt $100,000. Are you thinking about law school afterwards? I know political science is also one of your majors. Well, definitely thinking about law school. I'd like to do that. And so the 100000 would probably cover most of that. Definitely. Would it cover all of it? Well, these days, who knows? And that's the truth. It depends on when you want to go, I guess. All right, but first things first, Joe. The big board has 25 numbers on it. You give me a correct answer, we'll cover a number up on the board. Now, the object of the game is to cover five numbers in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally by giving me correct answers. And if you can do that in 45 seconds, you got law school all taken care of. But first, we're going to ask Debbie to join us. She's carrying a special deck of cards, numbered 1 through 25. And if you'll choose one, we'll cover that number up on the board for you. The number is 3. And you've got your trump card, so you get another pick. Now the number is 2. <laughs> it's a good day for you, Joe. I can tell. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. All right, now what you've got to do, you pick two and three. We've got them up on the board. We've got 45 seconds on the clock. You call it a number, Joe, and I'll ask a question. If you pass or if you give me a wrong answer, we've got to block that number, and then you've got to start a new line. Let's talk strategy. Do we have to? I don't think not. I think not. You need three in a row, actually, the one, the four, and the five, and you got your money. But if that messes up, remember, you can go down from any angle, and you also have the diagonal to concern yourself with, so keep those options in mind. Remember, if you don't call out a number, I can't ask a question. So do that, all right? We don't want to cost you any time on the clock. They won't start the clock until I begin asking the first question. You all set? Yes. Then, Joe, give me a number. One. In chamber music, what would you call a group with five members? Quintet. Correct. Four. What pain medication is named for the Greek god of dreams, Morpheus? Morphe. Correct. Five. Hoover Dam is located in what river? Colorado. Yeah! <laughs> Georgetown University has won $15,250. This is usually the portion of the show when I take all those questions out and I read the ones that the people got wrong. You don't get any wrong, so we're up there. <laughs> None at all. You've got some friends you brought along with you, don't you? Yeah, I brought Mona, Jen. Wave Mona. Wait, where's Mona? Who's Fetch next? Jen. Hi, Jen. Wave Jen. Lisa. Lisa, how you doing? And Chris, who drove for four hours this morning. <laughs> Was it worth it? Definitely. Yeah, I imagine so. What happens to the money? What happens to the $15,250? Well, I have my parents' wedding anniversary is coming up, and I think maybe, you know, they definitely deserve something, too. That's a nice idea. <laughs> and also, the tuition, I guess that's part of the deal, isn't it? Definitely. Some, and some fun. you got to throw some fun in. Fine. It took Joe 14 seconds to get the, uh, the bonus round correctly done. And what that means is that because he's won so much money, $15,250, and only took him 14 seconds, I have to believe you got an excellent opportunity to be part of our top 21 who will come back later in the year to compete for $100,000. Now, that's not a definite because we've got lots of games to play, but if they can do it quicker than you did it, I'd be very surprised. Congratulations, Joe. The best of luck to you. Thank you. All right, everybody. For Debbie Massey, I'm Jimmy Sapper. We'll see you next time right here on Trump Stars. Bye-bye, everybody. Our departing contestants will receive the following. Technique's compact disc changer with five disc rotary design lets you program your musical selections and with 10 key wireless remote, relax and let the music play from Techniques. If you'd like tickets to see Trump Card, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Trump Card, Post Office Box 749, Atlantic City, New Jersey, 08404.
from the spectacular Trump Castle in world-famous Atlantic City, it's time to play television's non-stop game of knowledge, Trump Card. And now, here's the star of Fred, Jimmy Sapolo. City News Yours, everyone, where the turn of a trump card can turn knowledge into cash, over $15,000. Our three contestants are eager to match with, so let's play trump card. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our trump card hostess, Debbie Massey. Hi, Debbie. Alfie, today's player's contestant number one from Washington, D.C. He's a student at Georgetown University, Joe Kenyon. Welcome, Joe. Uh, how you doing? Joe studies uh, the por Portuguese language and also political science. How did you decide on studying Portuguese? Well, I speak a few languages before that. I, I learned how to speak Spanish, and I decided I wanted to learn another language. Spanish? What else? What other Portuguese words? and Italian. That's pretty darn good, Joe. Our good luck in the program to you and in school. And Bob Pivarnik. Right. Okay, from Bridgeport, Connecticut, an actor and a comic book dealer. Do you have one particular comic book that's very special to you? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, I have one that was published the month I was conceived. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, not the month you were born, the month no, you were conceived. No, the month I was conceived. Ah, and uh, you, that, that's very near, and, near very to your Very near and dear to my heart. I can see why. All right, Bob, good luck to you in the program. And David Lang from Pittman, New Jersey, a teacher and retired as a school principal, went back to the, school, to the classroom. Why, Bob, David? Well, because I missed the interaction with the students. Yes. What age group are they? Um, uh, 11th and 12th graders. 11th and 12th grade. All right, good luck to you in the program. I'm sure they're out there watching for you. Thank you. All right, everybody, here's how we play the game. Each of the contestants have their own trump card, and the object of the game is to cover all 15 numbers on their card by answering questions correctly. The first player to do so can win over $5,000, plus the chance to win the $10,000 trump card bonus. And don't forget, our studio audience will be playing along on their own trump cards. Every time a contestant answers a question correctly, our audience members will cover the corresponding number on their card. So good luck to the contestants and to the audience members as well. Now, players, you can win round number one and $750 in cash by being the first to cover all four corners on your card. And you'll do so by answering questions in the following categories. And they are famous trials, mothers, art of the deal, that is our famous deal category, and doctored films, films with the word doctor in the title. Each category contains four questions, and a correct answer will cover a corner on your card. If you give me an incorrect answer, you will be frozen out of the next question. And Bob, you want the draw backstage? Please start for me. All right, Jimmy, let's start with mothers. Legend has it that she was Emperor Charlemagne's mother. Name this character famous for her nursery rhymes. Joe. Mother Goose. That's correct, and you're on the board. Dr. Films. In this 1967 film, Rex Harrison had the uncanny ability to talk to the animals. Name the film. Joe? Dr. Doolittle. That's correct. Good start for you. Mothers. This labor leader, arrested for union activities at age 82, has a counterculture magazine named in her honor. Name that mother. Joe? Mother Jones. Mother Jones is correct. The run to the board so far for you, Joe. Dr. Phil. In this 1977 horror film, Burt Lancaster was a demented island doc who created creatures that were half man and half beast. Name the doctor, Bob. Dr. Moreau. That's right. The name of the film was The Island of Dr. Moreau. Please Let's choose for Let's go back to Mother's, please. This organization was founded in 1980 by Candy Leitner after her daughter was killed in a traffic accident. Name this group, Bob. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. That's true. MAD, M-A-D-D. -D. We cover 20 on your card. Uh, mothers Again, please. Last question in this category. The lining of some mollusk shells used to make buttons, knife handles, and beads is called what? Bob? Mother of Pearl. Yeah, the tie knot between Joe and Bob. Um, Dr. Films, please. In the film Dr. Zhivago, who played Dr. Zhivago? Joe for the win. Omar Sharif. Congratulations, Joe. Well done. Well played first round. Joe, that's all four corners. That's 750 bucks. That'll help with the tuition, I'm sure, at Georgetown. Bob and David, worry not, because we're going to come back and double the prize money to $1,500 in round number two. Round two. All right.
right, thanks, Debbie. Players here in round number two. One of you will win $1,500 in cash if you can become the first to cover the five numbers across your center line. And right now, Debbie's giving each of our players a special trump card. Beginning with this round, players, you can use this card to block the progress of one of your opponents. You can only play your card after you give me a correct answer. You only have one card. We've got two rounds to go, so please play it wisely. And, players, should you win the game and go on to our bonus round and still have your trump card, then you'll receive an extra advantage. Now, here are the categories for round number two, and they are Broadway musicals. From Z to A, words that begin with Z and end with A. For the birds, that's our category all about birds. And in other words, we'll paraphrase a well-